Hey everybody, I'm going to run through a couple of quick crafts that you can do at home with the alpaca fleece. We've got some kits put together for you and you can do these activities with your kids or just yourself, however you like. I, one of the things you're going to get is a nice pile of raw fleece. So this is fleece that has been shorn. We shear our alpacas once a year. You can see these gorgeous locks. It's super soft. So we're going to take that and the first step is to card it now i have carding brushes and i use the carding brushes like this as you can see just pulling the fleece apart away from each other and all you're doing is lining up the hairs so they're all going the same direction and sort of brushing out some of that bigger debris that's in them and that gives you this nice fleece all lined up nice and soft that you can use for your crafts for felting. Now you don't have to have carding brushes, you can have dog grooming brushes or even hair brushes are gonna work. You just need to be able to have that action where you're brushing the hair smooth. So once you've got yourself a pile of uh, the fleece that's already, um, that's already brushed, we're going to make this um, felted alpaca soap bar. So in your kit, you're gonna get a, a piece of soap of our goat's milk soap. And you're gonna make yourself a nice pile of the carded fleece. And then we're gonna just wrap that up like a little present. So you just kinda of tuck all those ends in and make it all go together nicely like that. And then, even though that's kind of a little bit dirty fleece, you're gonna see that as we wash it, it's going to get cleaner. Now, I use some of these rovings, they're called, so these are pieces that have gone through the wash and then gone through one process to become roving. So we've sent along a few little bunches of rovings with the kit that you're gonna get. And those ones I use to just kind of wrap that around and get it tight and so that there's a really smooth edge to our, um, our felted soap bar. And then also I use it to make some pretty decorations as you can see there We've got these de little different colors of the fleece on there. So we're just gonna wrap that up and keeping, keeping the ends all tucked, I think I'll start with a different color now. Oops, and these are all, of course, the natural colors of our, of our animals, of the, of the alpacas that are here at the Aurora Farm. They're not dyed, they're just the actual colors of them. So I'm gonna use that and make myself a little run around that way and then I'm going to take some yarn that's in your kit as well and that yarn is going to be just the, on the top top to both hold it all together and to make some pretty different colored lines in there so I'm just going to wrap that around enough so that I have this kind of little package that is um, you know fairly tight already then I'm going to, I've got two bowls set up here. One is hot, hot water and one is cold water. And so that's what felting is. It's just going from hot to cold to hot to cold with some soap on it and giving it a rub to make the action compress all of the fibers. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, just wet it in that warm water, hot water. And I'm going to put a little bit of dish soap on. Now, normally here we would use our, our alpaca, or I, I mean our goat's milk soap, but I'm going to just use some dish soap just because you'll have that at home and that'll give you an idea. So once you start getting that um, little bit of um, sudsing action going, the felting is going to start right away. And by felting, of course, you can see the difference between this one and this one. This one isn't felted, this one is. All felting is, is compressing, permanently compressing all of those fibers together. So like I say, you're shocking the fleece, the fibers to just stay put and stay together. So we're just gonna dump that one in a little bit of cold water and rub it out a bit that way. And you can already see it's starting to compress. And we're just gonna keep doing that action back and forth. You might need a little bit more soap on it to get the other side going. 
that's better. And then that also washes your fleece out. So any dirt or anything else that you might still have a little bit in your fleece is all going to come out. And you will feel it as you go. You will feel the action of that nice and tightening all of that fleece up. And I do, I like to do all the sides of it as we go and kind of keep pressing it together until that is all. So you can see that's already, you know, quite starting to firm up. So that's the action of that. You're just going to keep doing that. The other thing that's in your kit is a little ball. We've got some jingle balls and some bouncy balls. And what we're going to do is you're going to felt same way. You're going to felt around that. And so this becomes, if it's a jingle ball, it becomes a fantastic toy for your dog or cat. And if it's a bouncy ball, it's just a fun play toy ball. So the little kit that we have on our website has all of these materials in it. And so that's how you do it. Thank you for joining me.